I'm going to find two indefinite integrals. For my first indefinite integral, we're going to take the indefinite integral of 1 over x to the 1 third times 1 plus x to the 2 thirds. If I follow my nose, this looks like it's on the inside of something, so I'm going to substitute it out. So let u be equal to 1 plus x to the 2 thirds. My du is going to be equal to the derivative of this with respect to x times dx. That's going to be drop the 2 thirds down, subtract 1 off the exponent, gives me x to the minus 1 third. I want to isolate the dx. So if I want to get rid of the 2 thirds, I can multiply both sides by 3 halves. So that puts the 3 halves with the du. If I want to get rid of the x to the minus 1 third, I multiply both sides by x to the 1 third. That's going to give me an x to the 1 third on the du side. So I have dx equals 3 halves x to the 1 third du. We substitute in. My 1 plus x to the 2 thirds becomes u. The x to the 1 third in the bottom stays where it is. And then dx becomes 3 times x to the 1 third divided by 2 times du. The x to the 1 thirds cancel out, leaving me with 3 halves du over u. Any derivative of du over u is just nat natural log of absolute value of u. I put my 1 plus x to the 2 thirds back in, and then I have my answer. Let's check this as usual. So if I take the derivative of this, derivative of natural log of whatever is 1 over whatever times the derivative of whatever. So I'm going to have in the bottom 1 over what's on the inside, 1 plus x to the 2 thirds. We're going to multiply it by the derivative of the inside. The 1 goes away. The 2 thirds comes down. We subtract 1, which gives me minus 1 third in the exponent. We wind up with this whole mess. 3 halves cancels with 2 thirds. And then the x to the 1 third minus, to put it in the bottom means to take away the minus sign. So I'm left with this. And this agrees with our original integrand. So our check works out. For my second indefinite integral, we want to take the indefinite integral of x times x minus 3 over x minus 2 cubed. Note here, we don't need to do a long division. This is set up so that a u substitution will work immediately. For my inside, I let u be equal to x minus 2. du is going to be equal to dx. And then we'll notice when we substitute that we'll need x. So x is going to be equal to u plus 2. I substitute in for the inside here. That's going to give me a u cubed dx is equal to du, and then I have to deal with the x and the x minus 3. Well, x is equal to u plus 2, and then x minus 3 is equal to u plus 2 minus 3, or u minus 1. I multiply this out. I get u squared plus u minus 2 up top, and now I can divide u cubed into each term. So what happens for my first term? I'm just going to get 1 over u, u squared over u cubed. For my next term, this is a u to the 1. So that's going to be u to the 1 over u cubed. I take a u out of the top and the bottom, leaves me with 1 over u squared, or u to the minus 2. For my last term, I have minus 2 over u cubed. If I want to bring the u cubed up top, that's going to turn into u to the minus 3. So now I'm taking the antiderivative of this. And we know how to do each term here, so we can proceed. Any derivative of 1 over u is natural log absolute value u. For u to the minus 2, I add 1, flip it over. So that's going to give me u to the minus 1. Flipping over a minus 1 is the same as multiplying by minus 1. And then for my last term, I add 1, gives me minus 2. Flip it over means I'm dividing by minus 2. So that turns into a 1. So I have plus u to the minus 2, and I throw in the constant. Putting x minus 2 back in for u gives me natural log of x minus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 2 squared 
plus a constant. If I want to check, we just take the derivative of each, and then we combine and hope that it agrees with our original function. So first one, derivative of this is take the inside, flip it into the bottom, then take the derivative of the, this, and that's the top. So I get an x minus 2 in the bottom. Derivative of this is 1, so I have 1 over x minus 2. Derivative of this, this is just x minus 2 to the minus 1. The minus 1 comes down, and then I take 1 off of that, so that gets exponent minus 2. Or putting it back in the bottom gives me x minus 2 squared. For the last term, this is x, the, x minus 2 raised to the minus 2 power. So that's going to be, bring the minus 2 down, subtract 1 from minus 2, gives me minus 3. So I have this here. What I want to do next is just multiply each term by 1. So for the first one, we're going to multiply by x minus 2 squared over x minus 2 squared. Get everything over a common denominator. For this term, I'm going to multiply by x minus 2 over x minus 2. Going to give me an x minus 2 in the top. And then for the last term, it's already where I want it. So now everything is over x minus 2 cubed. So I have x minus 2 squared from the first one, x minus 2 from the second one, and minus 2 from the third one. I expand these, and then I notice when I collapse it, I'm going to get x squared minus 3x over x minus 2 cubed. And that agrees with the original integrand. So we know that the check works out.